adding and subtracting polynomials today. At the top of the page, it says to line up the terms and add the coefficients when you're um, adding. I'm going to do it a couple different ways. So I'm going to add straight across, and then I'll also use this stacking method. Okay, keep the variables exponents the same, and then as we mentioned last class, our answers need to be in standard form. So number one, I'm going to add straight across. When there's a plus sign, as we talked about in the day one notes, there, when you distribute the positive sign through, it's not going to change any of those signs. Positive times x squared is positive x squared. Positive times positive 3x is positive, and positive times a negative 7 is a negative 7. So we don't need to um, necessarily remove parentheses here. Standard form is highest to lowest exponent, so I'm going to combine the x squares. Negative 2 plus the 1 is negative 1, so that would be negative x squared. The next uh, in order would be the x's. Negative 5 plus 3 is a negative 2. Keep the x. And then last, the constants 1 minus 7 is a negative 6. So that's just combining straight across versus the stacking method here. And I'm going to add this one to this one. So I'm going to put the binomial underneath the trinomial. Binomials, two terms, trinomials, three. So the 8y squared gets added to the 5y squared. So I'm going to stack that right underneath that. So the like terms are all... Uh, stacked vertically, and the sevens combine with a negative three, so I'm going to write the plus seven. Now when I add them, eight and five is 13. No like term with a negative two y, so we just bring it down, and then negative three plus seven is a positive four. Number three, find the sum. Sum just means to add, so I'm going to add the like terms without stacking. So I'm going to use squares um, and circles to highlight my like terms. So all the x squared y terms, I'm going to put a box around. So that negative 2, x squared y, and the positive 3, x squared y. Together, that would add to a negative, or a positive rather, 3 minus 2 is a positive 1, x squared y. Next term, um, I'm going to do the xy squared, so I'll use a circle for those, xy squared, xy squared, including the sign in front, and 12 minus 9 is a positive 3, xy squared. The x's, I'll just underline, positive 4x and negative 2x would be a positive 2x, and then last, the numbers that aren't underlined, boxed, or circled, negative 5 plus 3 is a negative 2. And then 4 is already stacked. 9 plus a negative 5 would be a positive 4xy to the 6. Bring it down, negative 11x to the 4th y. And then plus x to the 4th, y to the 4th. Okay. As far as naming goes, just to bring the two notes together in review, number 1, because it has the three terms, would be um, a quadratic trinomial. Again, the tri is for three. And same with two. Okay, they're both quadratic trinomials. Okay, I don't need to put the S. And then down below, uh, they each have, well actually no, this one has one, two, three terms. Okay, and then the one on the left has four. So this would be, you don't need to be concerned in naming it um, with the highest exponent. So three would be quartic and four a trinomial. Last page, subtraction. Okay, subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. So an example would be five minus two, which gives you three. That's the same as five plus a negative two. We just don't write the two signs. We just write it as one operation or subtraction. Okay, and you just want to make sure with subtraction, you can't just combine straight through or just subtract the two. You have to distribute the negative through all of the terms in parentheses. 
So this would be 5x minus 2 minus 2x. Combining the two like terms in standard form, 5 minus 2 is 3. Keep the x minus 2. The next one, um, 12x squared plus 7x. We can just copy it down because there's no sign in front. And then distribute the negative through. And if you want to stack, put it underneath, be negative 8x squared, negative times negative, positive 4x. Combining straight down, 12 minus 8 is 4. Keep the x squared. Ele or 7 and 4 is 11. So you can write it left to right or stack just as we did with addition. Number 3. So negative 3x squared plus x. And then minus x cubed is going to change every sign in the parentheses to its opposite. There is no cubic term, so I'm going to write that first. Combining negative 3x squared and minus 6x squared, negative 3 minus 6 is a negative 9. And this positive x, negative x cancel. So you end up with a binomial. Subtract uh, x squared minus 2x plus 1 from 4x squared minus 3x minus 5. Whatever comes after the word from. So that trinomial, 4x squared minus 3x minus 5, is written first. Subtract this from this. So 4x squared minus 3x minus 5, subtract x squared minus 2x plus 1. So as I distribute, I'm going to stack. So this becomes a negative x squared plus 2x minus 1. Combining straight down, 4 minus 1 is 3, keeping the x squared. Negative 3 plus 2 is a negative 1, or negative x. And negative 5 minus 1 is a negative 6. So be careful of your order in number 4. And then last, if a equals the trinomial 4x squared minus 2x plus 3, and b is the trinomial negative x squared plus 5x minus 1, find the value of a minus b. So that just means to subtract the two trinomials. So the trinomial for a is 4x squared minus 2x plus 3, and then we subtract, in the order they said, a minus b, subtract the trinomial for b, which is negative x squared plus 5x minus 1. So as I distribute, I'm going to stack. Again, negative times negative is positive x squared minus 5x plus 1. Add straight down, 4 plus the 1 is 5x squared. Negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7, keeping the x, and 3 plus 1 is 4.